It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful, beautiful day, day in, in this neighborhood. neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? <laughs> Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to CJ's first cooking show. That so was glad the most, that was the most pleasant that intro. you are here. It was I nice. I want to take a nap. I it was want... like a mom waking their son or daughter up in the morning. Yeah, like so Honey, sweet. It's time to get up for school. And then there's the married with children version where he's like <laughs> chucking a shoe at him. Get out of bed! Let's dive right in today, Nate. We are going to be making something that you actually exposed me to. I'm and sorry. We're going to be making a chopped cheese. We're going to do a little spin on it, though. Little, this is not spin. authentic by any means. So go ahead and get that out of your get it out of your brain. <laughs> Flush it out. This is not going to be authentic chopped cheese. What this, it is my friends, be is elevated <laughs> with the one and the only tried and true. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a Frito Bandito chopped cheese. Let's jump right into this banging recipe. I do have a couple people that actually want to send us off and kind of. What? Are they friends of ours or? We got fans, and what? those fans got kids. Peter Pan's got kids. Nah. Peter Pan's got. So I'm gonna ring it, and these little youngsters, they're gonna take us into the stratosphere. Right here back behind me, we've got my Blackstone 36 inch. It is preheating, I've had it preheating on low. I'm gonna leave this zone in low because I'm gonna use this to toast my bread, but I'm gonna go ahead and crank this up. We're gonna get this high. You sure? Yes, I am sure. <laughs> I, I am sure. To ask. I know, because I like sometimes I'm you. not sure. I appreciate it though. So we're gonna get that down and get this sucker. You say 80-20? Uh, no, no, this isn't 80-20. Hold on. You're changing it. No way. Already? No. All right. Okay. Whoa, geez. Welcome back. It was deliberate. <laughs> It was deliberate, it was deliberate. <laughs> so you're doing a 90-10, right? This is 90-10, so really, usually we're using 80-20 with, uh, and this is like a sloppy, not sloppy, this is a greasy recipe, but. <laughs> we don't In want the it to best be, way possible. Yeah, we don't want it to be too greasy. Yeah. So I'm gonna chop up my beef just a little bit. While that is cruising, let's get to the onion. onion. Now this really is a beautiful, simple recipe. And thank God it uses yellow onion because I love, dude, I just, I don't know what it is, but yellow onion. You know, me and yellow onions are like peas and carrots. Yeah, the jitty and me was like peas and carrots. Except I don't like peas or and carrots. I, and, uh, actually, <laughs> carrots I can handle, but the point is. Is that if one I'm, of the good vegetables? So, watch it, you. Use, you. use, you we dirty rat. You. you killed my brother. You dirty rat. You killed my brother. Dude, I went to mm. North. Do you remember Ooh, North? Yeah, bro. Um, we don't want Hugh. We don't want Hugh. Elijah Wood, pre. Uh, that's like pre Lord of the Rings business, oh, man. Oh, way pre. Um, this is like, uh, what was the one with him in the airplane? And was it. Uh, with Mel Gibson? No, was it Mel Gibson? Well, yes. that's. Yeah, oh, Forever Young, right? Forever Young! Dude. It's cold. You think he's dead? Ooh, the good son? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whoa. That's when Macaulay Culkin got went to Creep Town and got lost. If I let you go, do you think you could fly? <laughs> that dude was freaking nuts in that oh, movie. Uh, you want roughly the same amount of onions as your beef. I, I mean, it, it does look like a ton of onions, but that's the fun part about onions is they caramelize and they cook, cook down. down yep. And all the flavors, it's just, well, it's, the onion, it's romantic. The onion yolk and the beef fat are gonna mix together. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. In harmony. Perfect harmony. 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 I was. I think I was quoting trolls. You would. Yeah, I would. No troll left behind. No troll left behind. All right, that beef is cooking fast, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop it back down to low. So we got low, 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 low. DJ, uh, can you handle this? I don't think they can handle this. Woo! I don't think you're ready for this gym. But my body's so bootylicious, baby. All right, let's season, because this actually really is cruising. Gonna do some kosher salt. Actually, it's a bowl. Not too much in the beef. I do want those onions. That big old fat salt where it's at. Yeah, it is, buddy. And a where little bit. Where it's at? We got two turntables and a kosher microphone. Kosher salt. Huh? That too. Okay. Now, guys, all right, here's the part that's really, really fun. Our beef, it's pretty much 
at that point where it's pretty much there, man. Um, there. We're there. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and add my cheese. Now, I suppose this could be up to you how much cheese you wanna use. Yeah. My recommendation, lots All of, it. of cheese. All use of it. lots and lots of cheese. All right, let's go, let's go heavy. Dang. All right, I think that that is gonna be an adequate amount of cheese. Let's toss my onions. Oh, I, sure. I just need to stay over here. Here's yeah, the action. Do. This is where it's all at, man. And we don't need to let our onions cook down too much. I don't want them mushy. I want a little bit of bite to them. And now you're already starting to see the yep. caramelization yep. in those onions. I'm going to go ahead and mix them in, man. And they're going to continue cooking with our beef and our cheese. Dang. It's like a mountain of glory. Yeah, it is. The best part about this is that we're almost done. <laughs> this actually is a quick one? Here. You're a quick one. Oh, you're a quick one. And what I'm noticing right away, the aroma, because whoa, that whoa. too. I am gonna add the rest of my cheese. Oh well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna stay. Just I said it was gonna. And you lied. And I shoulda. You're a freaking liar. I woulda. Now, while it's also cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and add some whiskey burger if oh. I could just find what, the. What way? I am saying what what way? I'm gonna give this a generous. Now, Whiskey Burger's got a lot of sodium in it, but it's got that really fun sweetness to it, too. Mm, if you guys have never one. used Whiskey Burger in one of your recipes, you, my friends, are missing out. Now, all right, we're gonna, yeah, so this is on low. I'm, actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because the residual heat's gonna get continue to cook. Now, let's get over here to our... The bread? The bread. The and bread? That's gonna need a quick toast, you guys. Um, which I'm gonna go ahead and kill this one. Um, kill him. Yeah. Okay, kill him. Now tell me about this bread, Nate. What? Well, it's a it's, lovely loaf. It's a, uh, <laughs> it's a lovely loaf. <laughs> it uh, loves slow walks so along the I, beach. I lived in New York uh, for a while, and I had many a chopped cheese. And having a good roll is important, but not as important as you'd think. <laughs> Wait, uh, why? Well, because of all the goodness in the beef and the onions, it kind of oh. a little soggy on the roll. Yeah, it's kind of where it's at. That's kind of the thing, right? Kind of where it's at. Now we don't want to go all the way through. This is kind of the trick, right? Is to be able to get it and oh, fold yeah. it and open it up just Boom. like that. All right, let's come back over here to our griddle top because we are cruising, boys. We are almost done, and then I got to get in my garnish. Your garni. Garni. You got uh, a garnish? We're gonna do a little bit more olive oil right over here. And let's get to toasting, boys. Now you could do a smaller, I mean, I guess if you wanted to do smaller bun, um, you could do some, like chopped cheese sliders maybe? You could, but, but like, why? Dude, whoa, whoa, whoa. Shh, shh. Can you do with that? Can you do with that? Don't let me forget. What? Ethan, the bread. The bread? Ethan, it's Don't up to you, buddy. Okay. Uh, is lettuce and tomato authentic? Uh, yeah, you can this? definitely add it. Here's the thing. Chopped cheese is to New York, Brooklyn, what like uh, a, a Philly, Philly cheese is to Philly. So okay. there's a lot of schools of thought. You use this, don't use that. Never use this, always use this. That's right. that whole thing. Okay. Uh, I am a fan of the lettuce and the tomato. Okay. And you are not a fan of how I slice my tomato, though. No. Well, guess what? Actually, I, take that back. Your knife technique has improved significantly. See, I, I would like it if you didn't say anything like that, because usually when you do, that's when I, like, hurt myself what? or burn something. What? But I think I'm doing good right now. No, We're I'm being right. genuine. All I want to know, are you happy, happy with, with your haircut? haircut? And all I care about is, are you happy with your haircut? Yeah, I don't know uh, why you slice it in half first, but you know, it's cool. Well, because I feel like it's just easier. You do you, boo. I am going to do me. I feel like it's a little easier to, to navigate okay, through. Okay, okay. Let me just check my bread navigator. here. Navigator. Hey there, navigator. See you later, alligator. <laughs> we need 30 seconds on the bun. That's just enough time to ring and bring it, because we haven't even done that. Oh, That's what? how quick the what? recipe is. What are we so, doing? Ringing it and bringing it. We'll be back in 30. Uh, it's we're, uh, we're, 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 we're moving along. Let's check our bun and make sure we're doing good. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All right. Now I suppose there's some conversation that could be had about what order you want to do things, but this is a bandito, and this is going to be our special sauce. So today, um, my good buddies at uh, the Tailgate Foodie they sent me a really delicious barbecue sauce. This is so so good. So I highly recommend that you go check them out. If you I'm have the fan. means, I'm if you have the means, I highly recommend picking one up. Ooh. Hello, hello. We're gonna give it just a light drizzle. We don't want to go too much because we're gonna add some more 
You're gonna double do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna double dip. Double dip. Just gonna double dip. Okay. Whew. Oh boys, that's a little a little hotter than I thought. Oh wait. You're making two? Are you gonna dude nope. load it up? Put I, all that in one pile. No, nope, I'm on. not gonna do it. Make I gotta one be a little more, messy. I gotta be a little more elegant than you would like me to be. I, Sorry, buddy. What? Yep. That made no These sense. These are the facts of life. We're gonna do some tomato right down here at the bottom. Gonna you know do... what? I take back what I said yes. because you're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Just I know it's tough I, for you. I started. You can say it. I did. Just finish it now. I take back what I said. Okay. And I, you being I, are what? I was right. <laughs> Meaning you. Meaning the proper. The like the, the proper, proper we. Like the, like the, the royal, royal we. we. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The royal we. <laughs> Now you could, if you're gonna load this up like an old classic uh, traditional one, go for it. You could do it where you just throw the bun on top, grab it, but this is a little bit different. It's time to go to Bandito Town, it's boys. It's kinda like a, like a burger. You magic. Need to test it this out. This magic moment. This magic moment. Go. Should I crunch or no? No crunch. Leave the integrity. Oh yeah. Leave the integrity. Boom. Ethan, what are you thinking right now, dude? I'm thinking. I want good. that. <laughs> I want that. I want that. And we're gonna plate directly bum, on the bum, cutting board. Bana bum bum bada bum ba bada ba 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 da better do better do better do better do Okay. We gotta do oh, the a little dust. little bit of post dust in here. Do it. Because this whiskey burger goes really great with your chili cheese Fritos. And then we gotta do one Another saucing. last light drizzle starting over here, boys. Man, that consistency is fantastic. Yeah, it is. I'm really looking forward to this. Dude, the tailgate foodies seriously hooked me up, man. Holy cow. Uh I think, oh geez, I'm losing some come on, come on. Some um, some of that lovin'. Some of that McLovin'. <laughs> I am McLovin'. I think that that is it, boys. <sighs> I mean, it's like, <laughs> you emotional. I just, I feel a part of it, but I do believe At that it- At first it's constrictive. Then, then it, it becomes, becomes a part, part of, you. of you. At first it's constrictive, but after a while it becomes a part of you. I do feel like it needs a post, post dust. Cause I don't know what it is, man, but I just love that seasoning on the outside of the crispy toasty bread and there she is. Can we cut it? There she blows. There she blows. Yeah. Prepare for Dave. Prepare for Dave. I And boys. Oh, are you hearing that crispy crunch? Let's plate this up. Uh, I know like a traditional plate would have been, you know. I don't, I don't know. But I think a tin foil pack, like all authentic or. Oh, dude, we got all this stuff that's, that's fallen. Oh, Dave. Fallen angels. God, I got the good view now. Dang, come on! Look at that interior. Come on. Dude, let's go eat it. Okay. Let's go. Okay. All right, I, I brought the barbecue sauce over just in case if You're we needed. Post dust and post drizz. A post drizz, perhaps. Post drizz. Um, but can we just, seriously, All let's. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Dang, you attacked that. You went all. Anaconda. Oh man, that is so perfect. So, the roll, the bread. What kind of bread did we get here? Just like a hoagie. Just like a nice hoagie. Honestly, it was the first one I saw, and I just grabbed it. You chose wisely. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> you have chosen wisely. The ratio of cheese to beef with mm -hmm. the onions, it's flawless. Perfect. The tomato and the crunch from the lettuce. A little cool. barbecue sauce. The bandito has returned. The king has returned. This reminds me of that one time. At band camp? That I got a really mean quote or comment on YouTube. Just one? No, lots. You want to hear them? Yeah, I do. Well, let's do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. From impressive to obsessive, a little spice and the not so nice, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. If this is your first time watching this segment of the show, this is the part where I screenshot loving, romantic, delightful comments <laughs> from you, the viewers. That are always positive. They're always so encouraging and lift up my spirit. Yeah. And I like to read them out. Uh, basically what Nate says is, uh, you write it, we, we read, read it. it. So starting 
from the top in no particular order, this is a good way to start things off. <laughs> it's go. actually really great. Jack says, CJ, he's had plenty of Joe jobs. Nothing I'd call a career. Let me put it to you this way. He's had an extensive collection of name tags yes! and hair tags. Okay, he still lives with his parents, <laughs> which I'll admit is both bogus and sad. But he has an amazing YouTube cooking show, and he still knows how to ring-a-ling that ding-a-ling bell. All right. Yes, Ringing he does. it for my boy Jack. That was well a great freaking comment. Done. Great quote. This next one comes from Jen Douglas. Love it. Love you. And also, I hate you. Yeah. Now something what? new, I have to try to make and not screw up entirely. L-O-L. -L. Well, clearly you haven't watched the show for very long because the screw ups Shh. are where the magic is. Bring it and bring it for <laughs> old Jen Douglas. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Just go. Just go. Oh, dude, three nice ones in a row. Wow. Yeah, this That's comes rare. from Alexander. It says, as Jobu will show up for cigars and rum, I will continue to show up for these great cooks and quotes. Oh, thank name, you. Name, do you know the, quote, the the movie reference? In the comments below. I'm not going to say anything. Ring it and bring it. Oh, you stumped really? him. Alexander, you stumped him. Wow. How about we do a positive rapid fire? I think you're deliberately skipping all the ones that were my favorites. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, here we all go. All right, here we go. Rapid fire. JNS, there's not enough thumbs up for this one. Rose, don't pick on Ethan. I love his long hair. KB's Outdoor Kitchen says, I'm making this. Allison says, looks delicious. Stacy says, this looks so tasty. Love all of your videos, LOL. Debbie says, looks delicious, but no jalapenos for me. Adding this to our next recipe to try out. You Heck do yeah. that. You go, Glen Coco. Oh, you go, Glen Coco. Uh. Julianne says, yum. Timothy says, now that's a baked potato. All of those deserve one solid gigantic ring. Ring them. We are for ringing all it. Of them. Bring it for all said positivity. So I feel like it's been all like Christmas and sunshine, and I thought we'd get rid of a little bit of that sugar and spice and go to. Reality. Uh, Oh, this guy's actually commented before. Florida Gator fan. Yeah, that too. When Nate said move these potatoes, oh, oh by the way, I got this from your Oh, show. you would. Yep. When Nate said move the potatoes over here to get a new, quote, energy, it reminded me of when he moved his show to a new area for more energy. Because in both cases, it just got more boring. Don't Ring. you dare. Ring it! Don't! Ethan? <laughs> <laughs> David Hoyt. I don't like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> was that it? But I am subscribed anyways. Oh, okay. Ring it and bring it. Yeah. Uh, Wait, yeah, just there what I go. thought. You couldn't be. Oh my cover. gosh, David, that was good. Oh. This one comes from Matt C. Matt C. It says, "Well, I hate to say it, CJ, there's a little Nate happening in this one. Great <laughs> lunch meal, especially for camping. Quick, easy, and full of flavor. Keep them coming." You know what? Flavor. I don't appreciate Just your like tone Nate. with that Nate All business. The influence there is no ringing. You a better there is no ringing. Enough is enough. Ethan, ring it. No. Ethan, no. Ethan, no. Ethan, no. This last one comes from Robert Frame. Such a kind soul. Hey man, how you doing today? Just checking in on you, CJ. Huh. Robert, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Hey Rob Robert, how I'm, are you? I'm doing good too. I'm doing all right. Nobody cares. Ring it and bring it for Robert for being <laughs> Robert. such a kind spirit. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That wraps up the show. I do believe that was the fastest cook I have ever done in the history of it, CJ's first cooking show. It was pretty show. legendary. It was pretty quick. Delicious. It has, you, you knew this though, right? <laughs> like that this is CJ's first cooking show? Yeah, where we cook him we quote. Sometimes. It just kind of stole the words out of my mouth. I don't even know what to say. What do I do with my hands? I'm not sure what to do with my hands. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. Okay. Peace out.